des comme des garçons et comme des garçons on plus Nike Air Tech TL 2.5 Now, I don't know much about the Nike TL 2.5s. I know a lot about the Nike TLs in general. Back in the day, the Nike TLs and the TNs were basically the most expensive Nike Air Maxes you can get, I think. Maybe outside of the Nike Air Max 98s. I think Air Max 98s might have been the most expensive ones you could purchase back in the day. They were like 150 pounds maybe more in like catalogs right little catalogs and whatever nonsense else people used to purchase shoes in actually i do miss catalogs because they used to have some sick colorways but back in the day air maxes were really expensive they were like 100 plus right and um whatever your, your parents are never gonna buy that shit for you but i never knew much about the tls but tls i guess is a version now 2.5 maybe this is a newer model but I do, i do remember seeing you know some of my teachers in school wearing tls from back in the day now these are going to be really popular i think Because obviously they've got the branding of Comme des Garçons, um, Home Plus obviously on the upper. And obviously if you know anything about Comme des Garçons, you know that Home Plus is their, their, their highest sort of like level of Comme des Garçons. It's not Comme des Garçons play. So obviously people want that prestige on their feet and they're easy to wear. They made these basically in all black, all white and a mixture of black and white. Everyone's going to like these. Everybody's going to like these, right? No, no one person's not going to like these. And the fact that the guy that's featured on this thing his hand is a black dude i think it's indication on the universal appeal i think these will end up being the sakai of this year because i feel like every year there's a sakai version there's like a high-end collaboration with a sneaker brand that just captures everyone's imagination everyone fucking wears them right and i think these when they eventually drop will end up being the sakai of the season because i've seen so many what i deem to be normies posting about them on the timeline oh my god these look good oh my god these look good especially because they've got the branding on the hill with the come de gas home plus and the uppers look a little bit different to what you'd expect the air max to look like right you've got the classic kind of tl shape almost like the wave design you've got these amazing little slits everywhere and then on the white black and white pair you've got the addition of all the little white and bits on the top of it you've got the nice little swoosh in the front nice little detail that kind of separates you from the bet from the rest i like that the fact that they're contrasting on all the shoes of the black pair on the black pair the the, the, the swoosh in the front is white on the all white pair the swoosh in the front is black and on the black and white pair on the bit that's black the swoosh is still white so you get all those hits of nike 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 and then i'm assuming on the back of the hill as you can see you can't really see too much on these pictures but on the back of the hill there's also branding of comme de garçon home plus that's written on the hill that's also contrasting so people that like their collaborations to scream you want your collaboration to say gucci bah! from the side of the street or from the other side of the street you're gonna love these because they definitely scream that and they look fucking cool so i like the look of them i think they're gonna look great one thing i just noticed looking at the pictures It looks like the all white pair. The airbag unit has kind of been whited out. No, is that, or am I mistaken? The airbag unit is really, that's so interesting. I've never seen that before. So it's all been like wiped, no, whited out. So it's usually airbag units are like a contrasting color so you can see through them. They've kind of blocked them out a little bit. That's pretty cool. I don't mind that design. Is that kind of like a black tip? So the white has been whited out, the blacks have been blacked out, and vice versa. So I quite like that. I think it looks pretty cool. So I guess expect these to drop when they're going to drop. Most likely you won't get a pair because they're going to fly out of the doors. But if you can find a pair, I guess try and find them. But I don't think they'll be easy to find. They're going to be so, so, so difficult to get a hold of. I almost guarantee it's probably not even worth trying. But hey, dreams are dreams. Next on the list, we've got another brand here, courtesy of the Comme des Garçons group, which is Junior Watanabe. And these are one of the worst shoes I've ever seen in my life. And I think this is proof that if you collaborate with the right brand, people will suck off anything because I've seen people on the timeline going crazy for these. And I look at them, and I'm like, God almighty, please no, please no. And these are the Junior Watanabe New Balance 1906 Loafer. Yes, you heard that right. Junior Watanabe has made a New Balance Loafer. So it's a Loafer New Balance or it's a New Balance in this design of a Loafer absolutely horrendous i already think the loafer trend is already buried and dead even though i still have my you know gh bass um you know tassel loafers and i wear them from time to time i think the whole loafer trend has been exhausted 
guys online who are always tweeting about loafers are the new Air Force Ones, all this sort of nonsense, right? All these fucking, you know, um, rehabilitated tech bros that try and get into fashion. They annoy me with their fucking takes on loafers. I fucking hate it. It's been exhausted. It's dead. Move on to something else, please. Go, go back to Paraboots or something. We don't want to hear you on the loafer thing. But if you're going to wear loafers, wear loafers. There's plenty to choose from. From Gucci loafers to GH Bass what loafers that I have to loafers from high street brands, there's plenty to choose from. But what you shouldn't be doing is trying to wear a sneaker version of a loafer. Like, that is so horrible. I've always hated, like, hybrid shoes. I remember back in the day, Nike had, like, a dress shoe. They had, like, a lunar sole. I don't know if you guys remember this from back in the day, like, when Oxfords were really popular and everyone wanted to wear a fucking brogue. Nike did, like, a brogue-style shoe that had, like, a lunar sole which is one of their newer, te that was one of the technologies that was new at the time. This sort of like soft cushion mid midsole that was put on a shoe and I fucking hated them. I, they made me vomit, especially because I used to kind of quote unquote sell them when I was working at 1948, the Nike store in Shoreditch back in the day. And I never understood why people liked those shoes. Like, why do you want a hybrid? Why do you want a shoe that looks one way at the top? It's like business at the top and then casual at the bottom. I didn't understand that mix. Like just wear your trainers. Like it's not that deep. But I guess some people want the mix. They want to be able to wear a loafer with a fucking New Balance. So basically what you've got is that you've got the, you know, New Balance, what you'd call midsole, out, uh, outsole, midsole, and a bit of the fucking bottom of the outsole. And then at the top, you kind of got a loafer kind of put on, you know, basically transplanted on top of them. So for me, they look fucking awful. Maybe they'll be more comfortable for people that don't like to wear actual loafers. I think there's a there's a bit of discipline and a bit of like uncomfortableness that has to happen to wear a pair of quote unquote hard sole shoes. I think most people have been pussified, unfortunately. So they would rather wear like, you know, soft shoes that help them to walk in places, which is why people wear fucking Crocs socially, even though Crocs should be, you know, only worn by people who are going on a shop on a groceries run or people who work in fucking restaurants on their feet all day. You shouldn't be casually work, walking around wearing Crocs, but people are so pussified nowadays. They don't want to risk anything. They don't want to fucking bleed for fashion, right? They say they have a passion for fashion, but really they don't really because they want fucking, you know, pillows on their feet everywhere they go. Maybe you're going to wear these. But for me, who likes to bleed my feet, into submission right who likes to purposely buy shoes that probably don't fit just because of the look and the size who likes to kind of just do everything for the for the look i'm definitely not on these i'm opposed to them 100 i hate everything about them i think they shouldn't exist i think they should be thrown into the nearest volcano along with whatever palace make i think they're fucking awful i really do but I'm sure they're going to be a success. I'm sure they're going to be a barnstorming success, but I hate everything about them. I really fucking do. Like, you know, there's not a colorway that makes these make sense. Like, even the white pair. Look at the white pair. Look how horrible the white pair looks with the white, with the black outsole and midsole all together. And then, like, look at that. That looks like some, you know what these look like? These look like a Kiko Costandino, have these plenty of surname, sorry. That these look like a Kiko shoe. If you're into Kiko, I imagine this is stuff that you'd wear, right? And you'd be all dour looking, right? You'd be carrying a little tote bag, looking all sad. This is what I imagine you'd be wearing if you're into Kiko. Always sad, always arguing about fucking furniture and fucking architecture online. Do you know what I mean? Like listening to fucking burial on your way to work. This is what I'd imagine you wearing. Absolutely horrendous. Hate them, hate them, hate them. And, you know, I'm in the minority because people are going to still buy them. And they're most likely going to be flying off the shelves. They're most likely going to be flying. And when I mean flying, I mean flying off the shelves. I guarantee you. I all but guarantee you. And then lastly on the Comme des Garçons New Balance tip, let's make a addition and a shout out to the best one so far. The best one I've seen so far is these. Nike Comme des Garçons um, New Balance 860 V2s. These might be the best ones so far. And again, no idea when they drop. I'm assuming later this year because it's full winter 2024. But maybe it might be the beginning of the new year. Who knows? But these are the best ones. And why are they the best ones? Unfortunately, with New Balance collaborations, the only way to do them well is just to copy the OG colorways. That's what they've got. They've got the basic gray and they've got the basic kind of black colorway. That's all you can do. Even if the model has been updated, which this is a kind of, I think it might be an updated model. It's an 860 V2. So I'm assuming there's a regular 860. Let's actually check that actually. Let me actually check that just to be completely sure. Let me see New Balance um, 860 OG. I'm assuming it's just the same, maybe update model. Okay, cool. The, the OG has a bit more plastic on it, right? As you can see there. 
it's a bit more plasticky looking. And then I guess the updated version, um, as you can see, bear with me a second. The updated version. Yep, no, it's not the updated version. That's, that's just Hoko only, aren't they? The updated version here is a bit more flat, you know? It's a bit more flat. And I kind of, again, people are saying in the comments they don't really like them too much, but I quite like these. I think these might be the best of the collaborations so far that I've seen from Comme des Garçons, um, adjacent brands, including Junior Watanabe. I think these ones are definitely the best ones for me anyway. I would definitely wear these more so than the other ones I've seen personally um, for what I kind of am into. So you've got this pair that's like a grey colorway um, with the same sort of like upper that you expect to see on the 860 almost this kind of wave type of pattern on the upper. You've got a good combination of suede, mesh, and I guess some leather hits. If I'm not mistaken, this looks like 3M. That's a really cool, if I'm not mistaken. So on the toe box, you've got a 3M panel here, and I think you've got more 3M at the back. So if somebody takes a flash, or you're running across the street trying to, you know, self-expire yourself, that your feet are going to light up like a fucking Christmas tree. That's pretty cool. And obviously you've got the addition of the suede, new buck and shit, and they're going to wear in really well. I like that. And the big like end hit. And then of course, the thing that I like the most about these collaborations is that you have the nice little Comme des Garçons logo on the tongue. So obviously when you wear them, the best thing to do is this. It's to always wear trousers or pants that, that kind of jack up, right? You kind of, you want to have a bit of distance between the hem of your pant and the front of your tongue and the top of the tongue so that people can see that these new balances aren't from Walmart right you didn't buy these new balances from fucking vinted you didn't buy them secondhand from fucking ebay these are new balances that are different you can't buy these in fucking you know in footlocker and shit these new balances are made by comme des garçons so you need to have that little you know that's what you need to do you need to make sure that you're wearing trousers that don't go above across over your shoes and you also need to make sure maybe extra bonus points wear white socks just to break up the flow so people can concentrate on the shoes. Because when you wear white socks, people can't help but look down. And when they look down and see the top of the tongue, they'll be like, oh, he's a bad boy. He wears Comme des Garçons and New Balances. Nice to see. Um, the black player is probably not too, not for me. I think the gray ones are probably better. But there's also a black, almost navyish type of colorway, um, which are quite nice as well. But I think the grays are probably the best in that sort of like combination. But I do like the shape of them. I think they look pretty cool. And then again, as you says here, it's got the Comme des Garçons home on the flipping tongue as well so i think these are definitely my favorite these are definitely definitely 100 percent my favorite so far and the ones that i've seen in the ones that i've seen